Hi friends. So if you were with us when we read the letter from Flora the Fairy this week, you saw that Bjorn found something. It was a roly-poly. We did some research and we found out that roly-polies are not bugs. They're actually another kind of animal called a crustacean. And this is what they look like. You probably have seen them before underneath a rock or a log or an old flower pot that hasn't been moved for a while. You'll see these little gray roly polies and they have these plates on their backs to protect them and they have 14 legs and they have two antennae on their heads that help them feel around. And they're sometimes called potato bugs or pill bugs or wood lice, or this one's my favorite, doodle bugs. So today we're gonna draw our own doodle bug. So go ahead and get out a piece of paper and a marker, and you can follow along. So to draw our doodle bug, we are going to use two shapes, a circle and some lines. Let's start with one big circle. And remember, this is your doodle bug. It doesn't have to look just like mine. Start with one big circle. Big circle. And when you have your circle done, let's put the plates on the back of the doodle bug. You ready? Put some plates on there. You start on one side of your circle and put your marker down and then move your hand across your circle to the other side. And then go back, put your marker on one side of the circle, and then bring your hand over to the other side to draw a line across your circle to make some doodle bug plates. There you go. Now let's draw the antennae. There's two antennae coming off the top of the head. So look at your circle and decide where you think your doodle bug's head is. Could be anywhere on your circle. I think that my doodle bug's head is gonna be up here. So I'm gonna put the antennae up here on top of its head. And I'm gonna draw a line. Boop. And then I'm gonna draw another line. Put my marker right on top of the circle. There are the antennae. One antenna, another antenna, two antennae. Okay, now for some more lines. Little lines this time. Doodle bugs have 14 legs. Seven legs on one side of the circle and seven more legs on the other side of the circle. So let's do that and count together. Put your marker on the edge of your circle and draw out toward the edge of your paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we can do it on the other side too. Put your marker on the edge of your circle and draw toward the outside of your paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's count and see if we have 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. Whew, that's a lot of legs. So um, today when we were doing this drawing, Dylan decided to add some eyes. So think about, do you wanna add some eyes to your doodle bug? Where would you put them? I decided that the head of my doodle bug was up here. And since eyes are usually on the head, 
I'm gonna put my eyes up there and I'm gonna do two dot dots for eyes. Dot, 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 dot. And then Gabe put a smiley face on his doodle bug. Make a smiley face on your doodle bug. Whoop. Smiley face. <laughs> now, one of the things that I learned in our book when I was doing research about roly polies is that the mommies take really good care of their babies and they stay together as a family for a long time. So the mommy carries her babies on her back until the baby's 14 legs are strong enough to uh, walk themselves and find their own food. And then, even then, the mommies and the babies stay together as a family. So if you turn a rock or a stump or log or a flower pot that hasn't been moved in a long time or something like that, and you turn it over, you might find some doodle bugs under there and you might find a big one with many little ones around it. And that's the mommy with her babies. So maybe you would like to draw a baby doodle bug. You can do that. You can start with a small circle this time. Ready? Just a smaller, a smaller circle. And then some small antennae. And small little legs. Do, 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 do. And the plates, eyes, and smiley face. There's my baby doodle bug. Now, I also invite you to make your doodle bug um, colorful and festive. You can decorate your doodle bug, you can make it a rainbow doodle bug like this. I'm gonna get some more marker colors. And let's decorate. Let's decorate our doodle bug. Uh, each one of these plates could be a different design. I think in this one I'm gonna put some polka dots. Dot, 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 dot. Remember, don't push too hard on your marker or you might damage it. Just dot, gentle dot dots. Dot, 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 dot. Now, I'm gonna pick out another color and I'm gonna color in another one of the Doodle Bugs plates. There it goes. Mm, coloring it in. Hmm. And now I'm gonna get another color and I'm going to, I'm gonna put some circles inside this one. Circle, 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 circle. And practice, the circles take practice. And practice your circles. They probably won't look like this. Your circles will look different and that's okay. I'm gonna get another color. I'm gonna get green, one of my favorites. Maybe I'm gonna do some lines. Lines, little lines. You do little lines. Lines take practice too. Your lines probably will look different. Everybody's lines are gonna look different. Everybody's lines and circles and dot dots and coloring is gonna look different. Now, I'm gonna I have one more plate on my doodle bug to fill in. I'm gonna get one more color. What should I do for this one? Hmm. Maybe for this one, I will do some triangles. Triangles are really tricky. They take a lot of practice. <clears throat> so have fun with that and when you're done have your mom or dad take a picture of it and email it to me so that 
I can share everybody's doodle bug drawings out to each other and we can take inspiration from each other. Everybody's doodle bug is gonna look really, really different and that's okay and it's actually really, really fun. Bye.